Well, hello, hello, everybody. Are you ready for the overload party? Yeah. I would, <laughs> I would like to thank everybody who is watching us, whether it's here personally on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you watch us. Thank you so much for joining us. And I also want to thank you, Hit that you, you purchased your tickets. You're here. That helps be Premier Wrestling bring you more and more great shows. Thank you all for the support. Thank you very much, Echo, for that lovely donation. So here beside me today, I have DJ Flex. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm amped Ooh, up. I'm so, so excited. Which I'm and, sure tell right? And we have Marcus with us. How are you doing this week, Marcus? Fine. You're doing awful. Well, that's, that's not awful. good. Awful. Oh, anyway, it's an awful. Just that's say, awful. well, we're about, to, we're about to change that. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> so, just a quick rundown. Like, last week, so much happened. Um, we had Rebel came out, she was so confused, wondering who stole her bell. Her bell, and it seems like she's got some type of amnesia. Well, I hope she's gonna be okay. Um, TLC and the Ace had some words about the Ace's attitude change, and TLC challenged Ace to a match, and if TLC wins, the Ace will have to reconsider his recent choices. And I know there's some awesome stuff coming up to do with that this week. Then we also have the Morgan. She wants to be taught by the best. Kia challenged her, and if she shows her that she's worthy, worthy enough, I mean, she, that she would train her. And the Morgan won, so I can't wait to see how this turns out. And then, you know, we also had some mind games last week with Danny the Thunder. Which we think Derek Zane came up one. Yeah, I mean he was just it was just like a quick drive-by. Um he just wasn't saying anything, but you know, thankfully Danny persevered and it didn't distract him enough and he kept his title, so. Oh. It was like watching Benny Hill for a second. It was really cool, actually. It, yeah, so I mean I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't know, maybe we'll find out more, but I think he was just trying to be a distraction. I, you know, actually, and, I, I, and, and I'm hearing right now, it looks like we're going to the screen. Uh, yes, you can send uh, you can send Rebel in now. I'm free. Uh, yes, I've done prepared. <clears throat> well, hello. It's always a pleasure to see you, Rebel. Um, I just wanted to see how you've been. Um, things have been a little interesting since I woke up, but I've been working hard and training hard, and my doctors are saying that I'm doing really great, you know, that, that I'm almost back up to where I was at. Well, you see, this is the thing. I, I've actually seen the, 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 the medical report, and that's not what I'm hearing. I, I've heard that you're you're not... 100%, and uh, I, I've got to say, I, I've watched the video back, and and some of the things you were saying are, um, I think you're a little confused. I mean, if you ever, you ever need some help remembering things, or, or you just want to talk to someone, you know I'm always here for you, Rebel. I know. Um, it's just that, you know, when I put something in my locker... Um, I kind of expect it to be there when I go back to get it. D there was and there that... was nothing in the locker. There was nothing in that locker. No, I put it in there myself. No, no, I'm af like I'm afraid there was there was definitely nothing in the locker. No, I am dead serious. It was there. No, no, I'm telling I put you it in there. as the Lord that there was nothing in the locker. Then why do I remember putting it in there? I think you're having some memory issues. Like I said, just if you need help, we we can provide you with the help. Um, but you you you've got to understand. I'm in a particular 
tricky situation at the moment because you know you're, you're kind of not performing um so it's not really making me any money but that's fine that's fine it's nice it's nice for you to, to be around and and you know and i can see you now and again i'm doing my best you know yes you see that's just that that's the problem your your best uh, your best really isn't that good um if you don't hurry up and kind of look i'm going to get to the point i've got people on my neck and they don't want people around here who are not performing, not making money, not performing in the ring, not putting people in the seats. We need money here in Premiere. We need people here in Premiere. And we need performers here in Premiere. And you are just not doing that. You, you, you haven't been cleared. The medical haven't been cleared. So I'm sorry, but I'm. If you cannot show me next week in a match that you are a hundred percent i'm afraid you're just gonna have to find a contract somewhere else we're not a medical facility we're a wrestling show very well um but if you need anyone find to talk somebody to for me to meet in that ring and i'll prove to you that i am back i am back a hundred percent or at least ninety nine percent, because no, you know, no, I'm... we need you one hundred percent. Like, there's no, there's no wavering on this. I will find someone. I will sort it out. And uh, good day to you. It's always a pleasure to see you. V very nice. Now get out. Oh, a... well, jeez, looks Poor like rebel. LG the mummy or daddy is being an again but he's got oh. some valid points i don't think she's happy no no she's she's definitely having some issues and that's i, I think I you think know the damage is, is severe what she went through uh yeah really bad if she doesn't remember what happened yeah all right <sighs> are we supposed to tell him or is it a surprise I'm excited. Oh, thank you gotta hold you, that thought. <laughs> thank you very much, Wish, for that awesome donation. Stay by the music. Wow. Here we go, folks. We're starting the show off with a huge bang. So loud I can't hear myself. Introducing to you first. At a weight of 215, height 6'1" from Fayetteville, North Carolina. It is Black Ops Bree. Now I tell you, this is one chick you do not want to get mad and have her charging at you. Hello, Bree. Hello, I'm the welcome. You know, Bree, I gotta say, is one of my favorite wrestlers. She is, she is definitely damn good. She knows what she's doing. I mean, she's had all of the Black Ops training. You know, it's not just a gimmick for her. Like, she's actually Black Ops. So, she knows how to take pain and ignore it. And here comes one of my favorites now. All right. Introducing her opponent. From... Salem, Massachusetts, at a height of 5'7 and 135, she is the Morgan. Wow, you're getting longer and longer every week. <laughs> One of these I, times I'm going to see if I can do it for like a full minute. Just right? <laughs> I always enjoy watching the Morgan comes out here. She's exciting to watch. I hope Bree doesn't think that this is just going to be a pushover because the Morrigan is going to sh show everybody that she's not a not a pushover. But not only that, it, she has Kia in her corner now. It, she earned the exactly. right to be trained by one of the best in Premier Wrestling's Overload. 
Exactly. So, I mean, she's already pretty damn good herself. She's getting taught by Kia, our women's champion. Right. What better honor could you get? Uh, I can't wait to see this. Like, I, I heard they've been just training nonstop since the end of the last episode. That's what I've heard, too. So very excited to see what she's going to bring this week. Lex, where did you learn how to talk like that? Like what? Whatever you just said. Uh, I have no idea. With your tongue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am the man with a thousand voices. He really Actually, is. It, it was... How to do it. No, honestly, it started in drama in high school when I did musical production. We and did, like, we... songs and stuff, and we roll our R's and, yeah. And, and we have away. the lovely Sarah Ashcroft with us today as referee. So glad we have a confident ref today, ladies and gentlemen. All you gotta do, Marcus, is just try to roll your tongue. <laughs> Oh, Morgan. Oh, she is. Morgan and Black Ops Bree just going at it. Morgan is just beating the snot out of Black Ops Bree right as soon as. Oh, that European uppercut. Oh. Oh wow! Oh, that was a nice. Up each other. Yeah, and Bree with those combos—they're—they can be deadly. He is. He is over there taking. He is. She is watching very closely. And Bree is just working on that that thigh. Hey, take her legs. Good move. Take her legs out, and she can't stand. You guys are awful quiet out there. Who are we going for today? Are we going for the Morgan? Or are we going for Bree? It's here. For Bree. That's what I like to hear. This is a party! Oh, and Morgan comes back with that jumping clothesline. Ow! And, and Kia's like, there you go. Stay on her user, stre her user strength. Oh, and the Morgan's going right in on her with those oh, corner elbow strikes. Like a cat fly. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, more corner gut punches. Bree is taking a beating. Oh, and there goes the monkey flip. Man, Bree just... Blue. Yes, Nene, I know that is your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Wonder what the Morgan's gonna do next. Oh! That was a beautiful death drop, DDT! Wow! Morgan is like, she is really kicking butt today. Hey, fingernails. Oh, Bree with that ultimate combo. Oh, ouch. Oh, and she is. That kick! <clears throat> I swear! Her boot print has to be now punched into Morgan's cheek. 
Oh my goodness. And the crowd is not happy right now. Jeez. Bree's gonna have to make up for lost time. I don't think she was expecting expecting the beatdown she got. Her face. Oh, and that corner impact! And a corner that's oh and that corner hard splash! Ouch! And those Muay Thai Muay Thai knee kicks! Ooh! Goodness. Oh, the Morrigan is is she's taking the beating now. Bree is getting her payback. Oh, she's going where and she the yoga zoo the Wow. That Yokozuna drop, ouch. Oh my goodness. At least she's out of the corner now, so that's good. Sure, the that must have hurt her back. Ow, yeah, she'll feel that for a few to, for a few weeks, I think. All right, I think I finally got my my headset working. Wow! Oh, that's good. You guys, good. that's clear. Well, it looks like we just saw a pin. Oh, we did. It was two only counts. a two count. Right. I'm yeah. telling you, this is this has already been one great match. Absolutely. Oh, and the crow kick the whole time. And wow. the crow Look kick. Look at that the impact. Oh. Oh, it's perfect. I'm surprised she's able to still move from that impact. I Does she know. have all her teeth? Is she oh, okay? I don't know. I think both of them are, are have some loose loose teeth going on there. Right? She's gonna she's gonna have to go to the dentist for that one. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good lord. Oh, there's your favorite move. Yes. I swear <laughs> her chin touched her back. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> word of advice to our female roster out there. If you're going to fight the Morgan, make sure that you work on stretches a lot because your head will be all the way to the back of your back. Mm -hmm. It will be. I can't guarantee that you might... It might come all the way back around to the front again, but... <laughs> you know... I think I called it early when, when we first saw Morgan come out when we were talking about the fact that Key is in her corner. I think she has really improved her endurance, her fighting she style. She has. I'm already seeing it. Yeah, the training is definitely paying off. She is, seems like she's dominating the heck out of Black Ops Bree. He is taking Bree to town. I don't think Bree expected this from, from the Morgan. And the Soul Breaker! Oh. oh! I just, I it's seriously up. saw her soul leave her body. Oh, we got a pin. One, One. two, but only a two count. Only a two count. Oh, oh, my Lanta. How is that possible? That is straight grit. Straight grit. There's no other explanation. Yeah, that, that, and it's just pure adrenaline, I guess, in, in a lot of these cases. But guys. Yep. Grit. Adrenaline, determination. Oof. Oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness! It was the Bree Bomb! The Bree Bomb out of nowhere! Mid oh my air, goodness! Pulls it off and slams her to the mat! Wow! Ouch! Oof. You see that dragon screw? Oh, that was absolutely amazing. How'd the tables turn, though? 
Could this be Bree's comeback in this match? It could be. I mean, she's taking beatings worse than this, but she's hurting. She's going to feel it for sure. Why oh, she just... Oh, oh the God, sniper that shot! Sniper shot! That's her signature move! It's... Wow! Look at that oh, impact! Oh, my God! She's definitely seeing all kinds oh, of birdies yeah. and stars for, from that. Yeah. Why definitely. Go for the hair. Hey, there are lots of people who spend good money to have their hair pulled. <laughs> that, that's Fire's favorite line. Mm -hmm. the it's the truth. <laughs> that and get oh, me another shell drink. Oh, shock! Her finisher! Oh. This could be it, folks! Yeah. I, oh. I haven't seen too many people pick out of that. One, oh, no. two, three. Yep. And there just like is. that, it's over. But what oh. a great match. Well, have Overload to, to find out what unfurls, right? You got to keep coming back. Mochi is a fun, inclusive hangout providing fun entertainment with the club, arcade, farm, and fairgrounds. Visit us at Lost Kingdom 144 13126 or contact Zami Cat Resident for more information. That's Z A M I E C A T Resident. Look, Doc, I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing weird things, little flashes and snippets of memories. But it, it's happening so fast, I, I, it doesn't make sense. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I can come in today. I mean, I, I, I've, I've got a week to figure this out. Okay, I'll see you then. Oh. <sighs> I've really got to figure out what's going on here. This is driving me completely nuts. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I will get my belt back. Somehow, somehow, I will figure out what's going on. Uh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> now it's time to show her how we really do it in reality TV. Oh, Lord, keep the chairs away from Barbie. <laughs> she might trip and. Hey, hit her she's face the up. one that. Right? I think she's the one that had a little bit of brain damage from there. Wow. I, I am wow. genuinely is, concerned for Rebel. I, mean, I am very can concerned. Can we get her for some Rebel. help? I think there's something seriously seriously wrong we should we should I, make sure she's okay uh, yeah all right well it yeah. looks like our next match is about to start Want you tell us about it yeah absolutely the show must go on ladies and gentlemen the following contest is scheduled for one fall introducing a two first from los angeles california at six nine two fit it we're talking about Brandon Exito. Well, at least we're starting to, starting to see more and more from Brandon. I'm definitely enjoying seeing what he has to bring to, uh, to us here at Premiere. Yeah, he does. Yeah, the, the last time I saw him perform, I was actually <laughs> impressed. I think I'm starting to like this guy. I agree. 
I mean, the fans definitely like him. Yeah, they love him. I like his music. Doing, right? <laughs> it's kind of he mixed. Is. It looks like they're booing and cheering. He, yeah, he's the the fans are pretty split here tonight. <laughs> Do you love him or do you hate him? Will you make up my mind? Right? <laughs> you know I love you fans. Come on, come on. You know I love you. Here we go. His opponent. And his opponent coming out to you right now. Bringing that Motor City mayhem from Motor City at a height of 6'8", 250 pounds. Always bringing the rage. It's Zach Rage. Yeah, he has plenty of rage to spare, that's for sure. This will be another good match. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I predict this is definitely going to be some back and forth the entire time. I think we're definitely going to see some brawling here with these two. Just straight fisticuffs. Old school like street bra within the rules, right? Right, exactly. Nothing fancy, just a good old fashioned street bra. Yeah, we call that an old school slobber knocker. <laughs> well, I think Zach is absolutely attuned to his fans. Look at look at how he's just yelling at them. Oh god, yes, he loves his fans so much, can't you tell? Oh yeah. Boy, <laughs> I haven't seen somebody get booed like this since wow. I don't think I don't think ever. Well I think they like it very all, much. Yeah, in all fairness, when you tell everybody they're fat, of course they're gonna shout boo and that you suck. Right? Exactly. <laughs> he just... <laughs> I don't serious. know, man. He does not have any fans, does he? All right. Sarah's checked out everything. Everything looks good. But I think she's <laughs> she's got to stay on her game. I, I, I really feel it's going to be all over the place. She's I think work so cut too. out for her. And this match is about to begin. And there's the bell. <laughs> and we're underway. And they lock up right away. Oh, they wasting just not no even, time. Exactly. They're just getting down and right to it. I mean, wow. both of these men are... Oh. I mean... We just you shoved them down. Both of oh, them nice. are the same weight. They're both 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. Brandon is just a bit... Over, he's six foot nine, whereas Zach right, Rage right. is six foot eight. So this is a really a one inch difference. Yeah. But normally sometimes size on, does matter, right? Yeah, and normally we go on about, oh, look how big that is. That guy is compared to this guy. These guys are almost matched, pretty much. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Ooh, Zach forming that snapmare on on him. Ow! Brandon's already frustrated. Oh boy. Oh, look at that clothesline. Good lord. It just took his feet right over him under him. Love it. It was a great clothesline. Man, he hit him so hard. I think he's going into childhood regression memories. That impact was insane. That was. Oh. Irish whips him into the ropes. Zach comes back. Can he capitalize? I'm ready oh, for he's... Brand. Oh, oh that's spine buster. Spine oh. buster. I say I, I'm oh. ready for Brandon to show us the goods of what he can bring oh, yeah. to us. The and pin. there was the pin. Two, but only a two count. To, to way too soon to get Zach Rage down like that. Still going to take a little bit. Yeah, they're going to have to dig down real deep. 
to win this one. Oh, yes. Oh, how sweet. Look, Brandon's even helping him up. That, that's kind of... You forgot to pull the hair! Yeah, you, you gotta grab him by the hair. Remember, that's our theme <laughs> here for Overload, you know? Oh, but Rage is not having any oh, of it oh, and pushes him away, runs to the ropes, back. comes back, and hits it with a, <laughs> a running oh. cross body press. So, oh, 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 this boy. is my house, he says. Ouch. Ooh, Brandon felt that one. He is hurting now. Ooh, he is, he, you can tell he but, is hurt. But I think Zach, you know, was a little wobbly from, from that impact. And, but he still pulled it off. Hopefully he can get his bearings. Oh, and then he's, now he's got him in the corner. He better get out of the corner. Oof. Yeah, that's not where you want to be. No, that is. You, you might want to get out of there. He pushed him right into oh. the turnbuckles in the corner. He's just all about the oh. shoving today. Yeah. Oh, here goes oh. the punches. Oh my Word goodness. Oh, he is just wailing on him. He flipped. <laughs> he flipped. Zach Reed's right out of there. He's like, nope, not today. Oh, look at him. Oh. Right to the dome. Boom. What? Out. Ah. That shook a few screws loose. He was already a little disoriented. <laughs> they kicked him in the face. One. Oh, and we're going to open. And the kick out. That was like 2.99999. Very disappointed. Yeah, he he missed that monkey. He got over that monkey flip. I wanted to see Zach Rage go flying. Yeah, he was trying. He was trying, and then Brandon was like, "Nope, I'm just gonna shove you." I think yep. that was a really good way to get out well, of that. Situation. Brandon's taunting. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> no, that's was, what happens. He comes out with a drop toe hold, drops right. him to his face on the mat. What a way to troll your opponent. Right. Oh. Knee drop straight to the skull. Wow. Yeah, the fans are not liking this. They the are not. Beating the hell out of him. Out of Brandon. Oh, Brandon comes Brandon. back with a kick straight to the gut. Toe kick. Bop. Probably knocked the wind out of him. Right. And there's the Irish whip into the ropes. Zach comes back. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, Zach comes back with a spear. Oh, that dropping Brandon straight to the mat. Oh, oh that had to have knocked the wind out of him. Oh, those spears are brutal. When you see them up close, ow. You know, I've gotten speared a couple times at, the, at some clubs. It doesn't feel good. Yeah, I don't recommend that you, you know, I don't know, hit on somebody else's boyfriend and then stand in front of the stairs because then no, you get scared down the stairs. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault they come at me. <laughs> Being speared down the stairs is not fun. Hey, like I always said, drinking is a full <laughs> contact sport. Oh, well, Zach's got the lock up on Brandon. But Brandon, he's going oh. for a suplex, but Brandon is blocking it. And it goes yeah, to he is right to like, ground. nope, but I'll do this to you. Oh, we've seen this last time. Uh -oh. Brandon is going for a gorilla press to show off his sheer strength. Oh, my God. He's got <laughs> Zach all the way up there. Oh, my God. How does he have him up like that? <laughs> he, like... Wow. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. I'm shivering with anticipation. Patient. And he drops him. Oh. Just 
Gorilla Punch. Drop. No, no, no. It's just like drop the mic and yeah, yeah, walk gorilla, away. But with a person with a gorilla right. press slam. Right. Oh. I think I think they're trying to knock the wind out of each other constantly. And we go for the pin. Brandon goes for the pin on Zach. Oh, One, oh he's going two, for the pin. Three. Oh, Brandon he did it. wins. He did it. I think that impact was a little too much. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this matchup is Brandon Exito. What a great match that was. That was a great match with both men. I mean... Now, Brandon just came out a little bit harder. That's just... What an amazing night already, people! Are these men... Are, are they? <laughs> is Okay, so Brandon's movement is Zach. Zach seems to be... At least conscious. Yeah, it, it took him a minute to get up, though. <laughs> I mean, he's practically you know, is... falling down to his knees. Like the damage is done, though. But Brandon still won the match. You want to come watch the action live in person by yourself or with your family or friends? Great. Let's get started. Check out the description below and come to our arena to buy your tickets. Remember, space is limited. We hope to see you soon. Hello, are you tired of sitting back watching the action? Well, did you know Premier Wrestling is currently hiring? Go to our website for details. Desires of Mortals Incorporated is a multi-purpose sim with Foundation Church, Mortals Dragon House Auction, Desires of Mortal Incorporated Studios, breathable rental areas, and more. If you'd like more information, contact Dragon McPherson or visit us at Quora 154-146-33. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Overload and welcome to Flex in your voice. The premiere of Flex in your voice right here on Overload with your host, that would be me, Mr. Flex. And today we have an epic show for you lined up. Who started off? You see. I have two esteemed guests with me today that I know you are waiting to hear from. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Introducing to you first, from New York, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome T.L.C.
Good to see you, TLC. Awesome. Welcome. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, my second guest of Flex in Your Voice, hailing from Egypt, the one you want to hear the answer from. We're talking about none other than the Ace. Here, I mean, we have Ace coming out now. I'm really excited about this. I wonder, though, if Ace is going to let it be, you know, if he's going to actually talk about it, or is he going to fly off the handle and start Ace marking everybody? He doesn't have a lot of fans, that's for sure, after turning on them. Looks like they're about to start now. Welcome. Welcome, TLC and Ace. So good to see you. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I've been so excited about this show. So, Ace. Well, big question, man. How you doing? That is your big question. I'm doing great, Flex. Don't you hear that noise? Fans are too excited to see me. I bet you they will not do as much noise when they hear TLC opening his mouth. Wow. Well, that's a, that's a great introduction to how you're doing. <laughs> and uh, how about you? TLC, how you doing? <laughs> Oh, uh, you know me. The thrill is real. And Ace, you made it. Good for you. <laughs> I'm excited to be here, Flex. Right on, right on. Well, I thank you guys for accepting the invitation, for being here today. We got a lot to talk about. So let's dive right into it. Ace, let's start with you. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see. You have been the champion five times. You left and you conquered the MMA business, and then you left as their champion as what a proverbial F you throwing up the bird? Like, wow! And 27 superstars have been ace marked, right? So why don't we talk about that? What exactly does that mean? That is true. I am a two time heavyweight champion. And I am two-time middleweight champion and one-time MMA openweight champion. And it is true that almost the whole roster in the back right now watching are, are already marked. 27 of them at least. And TMC, if you manage to convince me today to have a match with you, you will be number 28. Oof. What's, what an amazing achievement. I mean, you're, you're clearly a seasoned superstar. You have the experience, right? But what about TLC, right? He is rising. He's rising to the occasion. He's got the fans backing him in his career, including his recent Father Freud career-ending achievement, right? <sighs> I appreciate that, Flex, but I don't count an injury as an achievement. What happened to Father Freud, it wasn't planned. <laughs> it, was, it was a freak accident, and I had no control over that. Yeah, I, I, under, I understand that. But, I mean, let, let's look at the facts here. We're talking about Father, Father Freud, right? 
I mean, <laughs> he gets into the mind of his opponents. He's messed with your psyche, and he would stop at nothing until you faced him. Or, in the words of Father Freud himself, confess your sins, quote-unquote. He is definitely, definitely not a good guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to lie and say Father Freud was a saint. You know, quite the opposite, in fact. Still, if TLC stands for anything, it's for fairness and showmanship. And no matter who's in the ring, they need a fair shot at the win. No one deserves to have their careers come to a sudden stop that way. Not even the likes of someone as dark and misguided as Father Freud. Well, I do have to agree with you on that point. No matter who the kind of person they are, good or towards the evil side, I know the dark side has cookies or whatever, but nobody should ever have a career-ending injury. And we hope that nobody would ever be injured in this business. So, Ace, if TLC is that promising, and he for sure earned it, then why are you opposed to the idea of facing him? Some have even said and tweeted that you, Ace, are scared of TLC. Some would be ignorant to the facts. Scared from a rookie? Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, you're a rookie, TLC. You are a rookie. It's just <laughs> numbers. The reason I do not want to fight, it's not about me being scared. It's that this fight does not benefit me. If I win, it's just another number on my A-Smart Superstars list. But for TLC, this is going to be his, his biggest match. He's going to make a name. He's going to make so much money out of this match. Winning or losing, if he managed to throw a couple of shots, he's just making a name for himself on my behalf. What I'm risking is way more than what he is risking. Sure, TLC is promising. Sure, TLC beat Father Floyd, but I did too. Just that beating Father Floyd was not my biggest achievement. TLC, do you have a rebuttal? I do, Flex. And if you ask me, I think what this means is I have a shot at whooping Ace's ass in the ring. <laughs> uh, honestly, though, I'm a big fan of the Ace. I stepped in last season eager to meet my heroes but i guess what they say about meeting your heroes is true i experienced that front and center i saw a titan change before my eyes i stood to the side side while the fans had their hearts broken by your behavior ace you want to focus on money you think your wife cares so much about money or does she care about you i'm married too ace to a beautiful woman and we have a daughter together, and a white picket fence, and a cute-ass doggy taking dumps in my backyard. I work hard for the fans, not for the money. So imagine my shock when I saw how you treated Bunny last season, pushing her concerns aside while you chose the green. Them Lindens don't mean a damn thing to a good woman, Ace. I think you used to know that. Wow. Wow. What, what an interesting rebuttal that was. And, and I've been listening to both of you. And Ace, you know what? I think I can understand from your perspective. It's not my perspective. I understand from your perspective where you're coming from, right? So here's the Ace, right? You could care less whether the fans boo or cheer you. What you care about is coming here, doing your job, overcoming everything and it's all about the ace the ace show it's ace time i get that so then what about this right so if you were to accept tlc's challenge okay i believe that the fans because they're back in tlc he's a fan favorite okay that the show would completely sell out and i know you love money right so if they sell out they buy tickets, we sell out, then it's a win-win situation for both you and TLC, is it not? Well, that would be an interesting point if it was true. 
I don't think anyone here wants to see Is versus TLC. No, no one is uh, shouting for it. No one wants. I'm just doing what the fans want. They don't want it. If they want it, make some noise. Let me hear it. Then I will consider it. Do you want TLC versus the Is? Okay. Uh. Okay. So <laughs> let's let's go with your plan. You are telling me we play the fans. We give them the match they want. So they pay me the is their money. You know what? I think they are dumb enough. I think they will buy in. But TLC, why you? You are not the only superstars. Superstar fans want to see. <sighs> why me? Why TLC? You really need a reason to take on your biggest fan? Because what I'm hearing so far are all the reasons why you don't want to face me. It wasn't until Flex convinced you about the profit that you're now considering. So what I want to know is what do I have to do to earn this match? All you have to do is name it. Name your terms. I can handle it, Ace. So, what's it gonna take? Okay, you know what? TLC, I like you. You come here, you take what you want. I will give you a fair chance. I will give you two challenges, two. Nothing that I can't do myself, of course. If you succeed at them both, you've got yourself a match against me. Great, I'll take it. So. What do you want me to do? Your first challenge is going to be next week. You gotta beat an opponent while your hands are cuffed behind your back. Of course, I will be the special guest with me to make sure it's fair and that you will not try and get out of the cuffs. Uh, TLC, uh, I don't suppose. Do you have an MMA background as well? <laughs> uh, no, no, not particularly. Oh boy. Well, then I suggest you start practicing your kicks. Seriously. <laughs> all right, all right, jokes aside. So, Ace, what is the second challenge? The second challenge is only if he managed to get past the first challenge. I don't think he will. But if TLC, your second challenge will be in the mid-season finale, You've got to win a handicap elimination tag team match, a two versus four. And your partner is going to be none other than the ace. If you can carry your own weight and win with me together, you got yourself a match against me right the week after. Hmm. TLC, your response? Okay, okay. So, so you want me to win a match in... In handcuffs? Hmm. Sounds kind of kinky, but I'll do it. I'll win both challenges and prove to you that I'm worth getting in the ring. Then you will see how important the fans are and come back to the way we once knew you to be. So, yes, Lux. I'm saying it yes here. I'm saying it to everyone now. I'll take it. Consider it challenge accepted. Wow. There you have it, folks. We finally have an answer that we've been waiting for. The issue has been challenged. Ace has given his terms starting next week. Right here on Overload, TLC has to face an opponent with his hands behind his back handcuffed with Ace as a special referee. And then if it gets past that, the following match will be him and Ace versus four people in a handicapped elimination tag team match wow what a show thank you very much ace for coming on today and accepting the invitation and tlc always good to see you as well thank you so much both of you have been great and this has been mr flex on the premiere of flex in your voice see you next time Wow, wow, there, well, this is some exciting news, folks. I hope you're all listening to that. What a great new show. But now we have two matches to look forward to. 
the first one, TLC, is got to wear handcuffs. If you don't get out of those handcuffs, I guess until you get the keys at the end. And then he has to win a handicap two versus four elimination tag match with Ace at his side versus four other superstars. Oh my god, this is gonna be so exciting. I cannot wait for this. Oh my god, it's gonna be so amazing. Next well, week, make sure you tune in. Overload is going down. Oh my god. It is going to be amazing. Wow. Woo! See? Yes. As I always say, folks, this is <laughs> premier wrestling. It's overload. Anything can and will happen on here. So you don't ever want to miss out on that. You know, Natty, this, uh, you know, with her Japanese, she's a Miko, she does dancing, she does cooking. And then we have Venomous McCall, which, hmm. if I'm not correct, this, I think this is her, this might be her debut in uh, Overload. And then with the main event, we have Danny the Thunder. And Bobby! Uncle Bobby! Oh, okay. Who's coming out now, DJ Fred? Okay, well, speaking of Venomous Nicole, which you just heard, introducing to you first in this matchup, scheduled for one fall, at a height of 5'9", 138, from Oslo, Europe, it is Venomous Nicole! Nice. This is the first time that I'm seeing this competitor. I can't I wait to see have, what she'll Yeah, do. I'm very interested to see what she'll do. I always look forward to seeing the newcomer. So I think she has been around in the past. Well, this is a fun song. Get you a little amped up. Right? Exactly. Always got me moving in my chair. Ah, uh, There she is. Alrighty then. Her opponent coming out right now. At five feet, 120 pounds. From Okayama, Japan, she is Nady Dark Moon. Beautiful. Uh, her music is always so soothing. And oh, this this is cool. But, this is exciting. I I can't wait to see what happens. Right. Here. I mean. I'm just, there's so much stimulation going on here. The action of the, wow. What a crazy night. Hello, Naughty. Hi, nice to meet you. Now, just because Natty is small, believe me, that does not mean that she doesn't pack a punch. She is quick, and her combos, when those feet get going, Wow, it's just a blur. I've watched her practice. She'll practice for like six hours a day, every day, if she can. And Sarah is in there checking both women over. Well, <laughs> um,. Uh, where, where, where is she going to hide something? <laughs> it's magic. Oh, oh, it's, <laughs> it's magic. magic. You know, oh, oh, all right. Sarah's checking to make sure that they're ready. It looks like our competitors are ready to go. 
They are responding. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're ready to go. And there's the bell. The bell now. Knowing Natty, she will come out and she will bow to Nicole. She is amazing. I mean, she is so honorable. Um, I wonder if he's gonna. If oh no, she did not bow back. They're circling each other like piranhas. Trying to size up their competitors oh. to see what they're gonna keep. Oh, and Natty goes right in there with those body punches. Wow. Oh. She is not letting <laughs> yeah. up. Boom shaka lock a bow to the mat she goes. Oh wow. Oh wow. Twin Boomstop. Stop. Uh, ouch. I don't know. Could could Nady actually be scaring the hell out of uh, Nicole there? Oh, and the Sonic <laughs> Kid soon. She Ooh. might be. Like I said, she may be tiny, but she is full. Yes, of she absolutely fire. nailed that Sonic Kid Sydney. Mm hmm. Like all of it, just wham. She is not letting Nicole breathe, which is the best way to do it. She can't breathe. She can't wrestle. <laughs> yes, she, okay, has, no, she, she has venomous in her name, though, so maybe she has some tactics up her. You know, it, it, her shoulder pad, I possible. should say. That's cool. It's possible. It's still very early. But Natty oh, is pad. not letting up, and that's oh, super oh, oh, oh. Super good. The God Storm. The God, God Storm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What's really going on here? Non-stop action. It's overload. Hello. Ray, don't blink. You're going to miss something. You literally will. If you try to blink, if you blink right now, you definitely will miss something. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> I dare you to blink. You will miss a lot. But that's what you got to hear us here for. Oh, wow. Did you see that combo? That was crazy. I did. I mean, Natty in those combos. Woof. Oh my god, she picked her back up and then started kicking her again. Holy crap! My goodness, these combos are brutal! She is, she is, and she's focused. Oh, and a headbutt! Ouch! A, a headbutt as the proverbial cherry on top of the ice cream. Ow! My head hurts now. Uh, yeah, I can feel that impact over here for sure. Hmm. My goodness. Whew. She is Natty is just putting a beating on Nicole. Nice. But Natty, oh, Natty's going to that top rope. High risk, Did higher maneuver. Can she, she pull it off? What is she thinking? A diving on and run a pin? What? What? What did she? How did she kick out of that? That was insane. Wow! My goodness! Holy crap! Where does she get this energy? I'm telling you, Natty, she has improved Ooh. even more since the last time I saw her. It's amazing! It's another twin boot stomp! Another twin boot stomp! Jesus! Um. Oh! 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 oh, oh. oh Disgust! Yes, this definitely disgust that Lariat. <laughs> wow. Freaking jawbreaker disgust Lariat. Let's go. Oh my goodness. She just took the win right out of Natty Sales. I don't think Natty can discuss anything about that. No. Just knocked her block clean off. Yeah, Nicole decided. Oh, air bullying time. She decided I had enough is enough. Uh oh. She threw her into the corner. Oh. This is, this and is those... the comeback point of Venomous, possibly. And hitting those turnbuckles, there's not much 
Oh, with the way that she's bouncing her head off that, maybe I'm starting to understand why she's called venomous. Right? Oof. What an amazing match. I love it when they just go back and forth like that. Oh, look at that DDT! Nice. Oh, full impact right into the mat. Oh. Ooh, Natty's going to have some mat burns on her face. Don't worry, girl. I got your hook up. You know, like when you get like super drunk at your parties and you stagger yep. and you trip and then you head first into the wall. It that's did, what DDT and it, feels it, like. It, 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 it does. It does. And then when you land on the floor and you still like, you know, roll over, you get the carpet burns. It, it's just a whole <laughs> mess. It's, it's oh. just uh -oh. figure Venom four. Put her in a figure four. Let, oh, let my goodness. This could be it, folks. This, is this it? Especially you know, if she decides to folks, bridge it. If you are enjoying this action here today, don't forget to you know, send us a little donation so we can keep bringing it to you. Um, you just... Yeah, let these wrestlers know you appreciate all their hard work. Thank you so much, Nene and Venna, for those awesome donations. Thank you, Kia, for those awesome, that awesome donation, too. Right. So, Nady was able to actually drag her opponent towards the ropes to break the figure four, and she successfully was able to get a rope break. Thank you again, Nene, for that other awesome donation. Poor Nady. I mean, she's going to... She's going to have to push past that pain and come back Oof. if she's wanting to win. Oof. Oh my god. Did she just like kick her right in the face? He did. Wow. Ow. Ouch. Look at that face buster. Oh. Oh, that impact. Oh, Ooh, the Nat pain. Natty's not doing too good right now. Wow, some of these brutal moves, they make you cringe like, ooh. I know. I hurt just from watching them. Oof. Thank you so much for that awesome donation, Rasgar. Some old school punches. Going for the body. She's mixing it up. She's trying to wear down her opponent. But I think maybe he's shown that she, she's, she's pretty Fisherman, versatile. Fisherman suplex. Oh. And back down to the mat. Those me. Wow. My goodness. They both seem like they're a little vexed. And we still have the main event coming up. Danny the Thunder versus Uncle Bobby. Going I know. Bread. I'm hoping he brings us out some <laughs> cornbread this time. Extra butter. If you can hear me in the back, you know we love you, Wait. Uncle Bobby. Why is Nicole Nicole don't argue with the referee? Uh -oh. Pay attention. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. This never bodes well. You should pay attention to your opponent, you know, behind you. Over by the ropes, your opponent. Turn turn wow, around. Turn around. Natty. Oh. Don't that was your time, you. girl. She's not paying attention. Hmm. Are, are you okay? Hey, does anybody you need, need a Kleenex? You okay? <laughs> oh, look at it. Going for the pin, but her foot's on the rope. <laughs> Oh, good. Sarah caught it. Poor Natty. Oh, now Natty is... Ah, oh, Sarah's saying your foot, her foot was on the rope. She's warning. She is warning Nicole not to get too lippy with her. And we... 
and it's a Kitsune Burn Upper from Natty. What a comeback! Ooh, that's oh a my god! It is dangerous. It, it is, man. It's deadly. Wow. I think both of our competitors here are a little vexed. All right, and Natty's catching her breath. You don't. Oh, and Man, she is just going stomping. to town. And now she's, she's working on those. She is just she's working so hard. Many elbows. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Wow. Did you see that kick? <laughs> Knocked her ass right out. But she's able to get back she up and get beat down again. Holy crap. What the hell is happening? How the heck are these competitors still have so much energy? I don't know. I think it's amazing. We've gone into the Twilight Zone again. Lord help me. Somebody refresh my drink before we go there. Performing, she's trying. To, is she gonna get it? Is she gonna knock her out? Is she gonna oh, do oh, it? Oh, oh, is she gonna tap? Is she? Oh, is she gonna? I think she's gonna be out cold. And the hand falls down. Oh, she oh, is oh, oh. out. Sarah, and the there the is here? the bell. Your winner in oh, this oh, match oh, today oh. is Navi. Very naughty indeed. Naughty Dark Moon, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. That's my girl. Oh. So happy. Oh. Don't get to see her a lot. So always, always very happy to be able to watch her in the ring and do her stuff. And also, Nicole... You know, it's her first match out there. I think she still did pretty good. She still has a lot of work to do to catch up to, like, Naughty. But I think we're going to see good things from her, yeah. from Nicole in the future. That was, that was amazing. That was fun. That was amazing. This hey. whole show has been amazing. These fans are amazing. Let's hear it, guys. Let's raise the roof off this place! Raise the roof! Make some noise! Come on! Say something, there's something going on backstage! Just, let's take a look! Mm. Morrigan Morrigan What the hell was that? You had her You wore her down like I told you to Then you go high district? On a powerhouse? By force, bed, I swear, you have to start to listen. You have to get your focus back and adapt, adapt, adapt. Remember the match you did with me? You adapted. That was what got you to win. Not your eager showboating that you showed today. If you want to keep me as your trainer, I want to see that Morrigan again. If I don't, well, you know what? This might just be a complete waste of time. Well, damn. Wow. 
Kia's not playing. Well, that's what I was saying. I, I figured it out. See, I knew. I knew why she was quiet and out here and observing the match. She was taking notes on her protege to see how she could improve. So she gave her a pep talk. And, well, we'll see if that Morgan will improve and take her advice. I'm really hoping so because I really do like what we saw with Morgan earlier in this show. You know, she might not have been able to beat Bree, but she did really good. Absolutely. Are you looking for a beach town with an amusement park that's right on the boardwalk? Or one that has an exciting nightclub and plenty of inexpensive homes to rent? Well, right here at Karen's Cove, we have it all. Look no further. If you would like more information, please contact Isaiah Zay Jenkins, Apollo Cypress, Nene Lyons Ember, Renee Simithorn Nickers, or Randy Glenfat. You want to come watch the action live in person, by yourself, or with your family or friends? Great, let's get started. Check out the description below and come to our arena to buy your tickets. Remember, space is limited. We hope to see you soon. Pink Moon Estates is a mature, full sim that offers many social sporting activities like wrestling, soccer, and more. It's a place where you can hang out with friends, take pictures, play games, or get a professional picture taken at our photo studio. Pink Moon Estate also offers homes for rent, and you can set home there when in their group. For more information, check their website at www.pinkmoonestates.blogspot.com, and also you can contact Bullets and Newland for more information. All right, and I am super hungry right now. You better bring the cornbread. Yes, the cornbread, that's right. You gonna eat your cornbread? At a height of 6'8", 300 pounds, the awesome Uncle Bobby! Hopefully with some cornbread with extra butter. I would like it, thank you very much, please. Bobby, I hope that you brought some. Uncle Bobby! This is another guy I love this music to. I just love everything about Uncle Bobby, man. He's so fun. I got two puns with Uncle Bobby one time, and it was a lot of fun. I'd do it oh, again. Oh, you're so lucky. I know. Opportunity. This guy is so fun, and he's huge. How in the hell does he do what he does at 300 freaking pounds? I mean, he goes to the top rope. Not often, but he does, and it's, it's definitely an impact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Impact. Hello. That's a good word for it. Yes. Oh, Bobby. He brought hey. us some cornbread. Dude. I, I told right you I'd get on. cornbread. I told you guys I'd get cornbread. And it's Thank got you. extra butter. This song is so cool. <laughs> It's like diddle 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 from Rome, Italy, and hopefully he brought me a nice plate of food to eat earlier. He is the heavyweight champion. We're talking about Danny, the Thunder. What was yeah. it that he made earlier that he that he was like showing uh, off? He always makes delicious looking things. I have no idea. It's was it was a, probably like a Italian or something. I think it was sort of lady, yes, I did see that. It did look very good. Absolutely Danny the Thunder got some mad skills in the kitchen, folks. You know, it, it, it makes me like, like I'm confused. Why is Danny loved and hated by the fans? Danny's freaking awesome. 
Right? Could it be I don't because know of certain he's... things that transpired, perhaps? I don't know. Last week was kind of weird, but today this is a new day. Hello, Danny. I will take very good care of the shiny. I will give it a drink, and I will <laughs> polish it, and I will call it Betty. <laughs> Betty? I don't know. Oh, Either one. <laughs> All right. How about Betty Betsy? Yeah, Betty I mean, Betsy, there, there, that's Oh, my God, there's been, like... You know, I mean, he's... Controversial things happening. I don't... I mean, he's he's, he's, he's he's now being loved and aided by fans. I don't get this. He is yeah. done it wrong. Um, there's been so many mind games going on since he's come back to Overload last season. It's, it's you know... But, but what about the phone call that LG made just weeks ago? No, I still, I don't know. I do not, do not think, trust him. Do not I trust him that, at all. I think that Daddy Mummy is after Danny, actually. Like, I, I think they're out for Like, he, why in the hell is the management against him? Is he not the heavyweight champion? Hello? I know. I just, I don't know. So disrespectful. They are being very disrespectful. I mean, he is... He is an amazing performer. We are very lucky that we have him here on Overload, and they're pulling this crap. Nah, -uh. we're calling you out right now, Mummy and Daddy. We're calling you yes. out. Yes, Mummy and Daddy, get your exploited delete together, and 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 stop with the shenanigans, please. All right. Well, this oh, this has started. Is that wise? Uh, oh I don't God. think that's very wise, and um, <laughs> because that's that. what happened. Oh that's God. what happens. I knew that was going to happen as soon as he slapped him. I'm so sorry for I slapping think, Danny, but come on. Really? I think Bobby just slapped the taste right out of Danny's mouth. <laughs> Hit him so hard he went wow. flying, man. My goodness. Danny is frustrated, and they're locking up again. Oh, man, he's got like the short end of the stick. You know, you draw those draws, he gets the short one like every time, apparently. Oh, okay. Bobby with those punches in the corner. Oof, that's oh. not a place you want oh, to be oh, in with move. Uncle Bobby. Oh, oh. oh my god, that oh, my hard god. Throw splash. Oh my god, oh, he just turned I, him into a pancake. I is, think is his bones broken? Is he okay? I, I think all of his I organs are just shifted. His all of his organs just shifted to the other side or to the back of his body. I don't think I know how anatomy works. He just he's kicking him in the thigh, and it's like, uh, is it really affecting him? Exactly. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, he's staggering a little bit. I mean, Bobby is feeling the impact. Oh, there we go. Gonna he have drop to kicks him right. Oh, the, the shotgun drop kick knocks him into the corner against the you know. Extremely soft turnbuckles. No, they're steel under the turnbuckles. Oh, and Danny with those old school punches of Bunga Bobby. Oof. Oh, look at that. But you know, <laughs> he just shoves him down. Stop kicking me. Give me your cold red. I'm a kicking right? now. Right? Sorry, cornbread's already gone. I ate it all. Yeah, yeah, that was that was gone instantly. It yes. won't last very long, especially no. with all that buddy. Mm hmm And he shoves him again. It's <laughs> like halfway across the ring this time. That's right. That's right. Bobby had about thirty-five pounds of cornbread before he came out here. He's ready to go. Oh, look at that! Oh, Jimmy Larry! Oh my God! <laughs> How? How does oh, such a big dude do these things? I don't know. It's, it's pretty wow. amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I, I would say yes. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. He picked him up by his hair. Uh, the number one thing to do in overload, ladies and gentlemen. What? He just snapped Mary Bobby. Like he was nothing. He said, I had enough and just flipped his ass uh, well, onto the mat. I mean, you know, if 
if there is anybody that can take down Bobby, it definitely would be Danny the Thunder, I would think. But... He is going wow. back. Oh, a knee drop arm breaker. Oh, oof. He is taking oh, Bobby to down. Oh, look at that leg drop. Hit him so hard, his legs almost flew up over his head. That was insane. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> These fans are just going insane oh, here. Once him. again, Danny busts out with the new King bicycle kick and just knocks him down. You did that again. <laughs> if, you've, if you've never played Mortal Kombat, you wouldn't understand it. I do. Outfits. I have. I actually have the old, like, old. Old oh, original first. Oh, Danny's trying to suplex, but it's just not it's happening. It's not. He, hi, there's no. How is he gonna? Up. Right? How is he gonna lift that man? I don't know. I mean, he did that that snap suplex pretty pretty effectively. He might be able to lift him. Oh, there's he's a he is really straining. He is. You can hear him straining to try to lift Bobby. Well, when you're blocking with your leg, of course it's going to be a lot harder. You know. I don't think it's going to happen there, Danny. Oh, there's the lockup. Well, Nene, we have short people powered, so <laughs> we don't, we don't care. We, we, you know, what? it's we have short people powers. It's, it's, it's just powered. a thing. Yeah, every time he tries to support hey. him, Bobby's getting the leg up and saying it's not going to happen. He's like, nope. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not <laughs> today. Oh, and Bobby comes back with a jackhammer himself. There we oh go. God. Bobby woke up. <laughs> that was 300 pounds of impact. They right? both bounced off the mat from the impact. Ooh. So that was a double impact when he came back down after the bounce. Oof. That's going to oh. hurt for a minute. Oh. Oh. He's trying to... What? He, he, tried, he tried to do a powerbomb. But then Danny went ahead and said, nope, and reversed that real quick. Wow. Oh, and he is going in on those legs. That is... That's what you need to oh, do. Yeah, yeah. If you keep him down, he can't do his magical stuff he does. You know, that somebody at 300 pounds shouldn't be able to do that Bobby magically does. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, here we go with the kicks. Shoot kicks. Oh. I don't know. I just kind of think like he's going to get Bobby fired up if he keeps doing that. Right? This is this is how not to yep, piss I off. I told you. I just called yep. it. Did you see that? Out. Finisher 25 to life. Oh my god. Oh, oh my I god. Told you. It's like it's like them them, them old cars in, in like the twenties or whatever it was when you had to rev the engine up in the front. Yeah. He was taking him, just charging him up. Oh, but both men are hurting. No matter what, I, I Danny still managed to, to put quite a beating there on poor Uncle Bobby. Do you think Danny can get up after the 25 to life? I mean, that was pretty intense. Probably not for another 25 years. <laughs> he might get, you know, off, off for good behavior. But uh -oh. it's Danny, so... You know, he's, he's Bobby's like Bobby's got him crazy. in a figure four leg oh, lock. Oh, my what? God. How is that not snapping his legs now? Ouch. I mean, just looking at that, the twerk oh, on the legs. Oh, my God. I bet you, I bet you Bobby can leg press a good thousand pounds or so. So if he can leg press that much and was, he's got Oh, my God. Like Danny that, is, Danny is, is Danny pulling him? He's there is everything, every ounce of his energy to try to pull him towards the he's ropes. Going to get a rope break. Rope. There is no way he's going to break this hold. It's not possible. Holy crap. It yeah, it's, it is a rope break. Okay, One, there, let it go. two, there we go. 
Ooh, Danny got lucky there. Yeah. And so did Bobby. If he would have held that longer, he would have been disqualified. Yeah. Oh. Both men aren't looking too great right now. Oh, but Bobby is <laughs> up. Oof. Um. Oh, goodness. Be careful, Danny. You, you might want to look. Uh oh, he's going for oh. the leg. Tried to run at him to, yeah. to squish him again, but he dropped his dropped it his knee to to stop his momentum. But yeah. he's going to the top. Oh. Is he what? going up? He's going to the high risk district. What's he oh. oh! Oh, and the <laughs> diving knee. Ow! Oh, right to the face. He goes for the cover. One and two. And Bobby said, no. Not today. <laughs> that was pretty damn close. I mean, usually Bobby will just like throw his oh. competitor off of him when he gets pinned. But uh, that took a little bit for him to kick out of. Yeah, it did. It. He's hurting. Both of these men, I don't know, either of these men are still moving. Amazing. How much more? Uh oh. You know, and they take. Oh, he dropped the soap. <laughs> Never good. Never good. Uh, maybe you should have the rope on your soap and then at the end of the rope have another rope that's roped around your arm so if you drop it there's no way to lose it oh my god look at those chest thump oh. impacts just squishing the life out of Danny oh uh oh you know what this is no, you know he's is? climbing. Oh, no. Uh oh. oh can, no. I don't know. Can the can the ring hold this? Can the is the ring gonna oh, collapse? No. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my god. What? It was the con air, but he missed what? only the second time in his entire career. And he missed that move. Wow. Wow. Bobby did not expect god. that, but you know, I Did mean, that really, you see him, it what, shook so hard, I thought it was going to fall apart. I, and I the Bifrost, there's Danny with the Bifrost. The Bifrost, a signature move. I, I thought we were having an earthquake until I realized it was Bobby flopping down on the mat, man. I felt that over wow. here, that was insane. The whole desk shook. How about you, fans? Did, did you hear seat shake from that impact? My goodness. Wow. Oh. My goodness. Oh my goodness. No. What? No. Wait. What? what? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Is? I haven't heard this one. This is Omen's music. What the what? What I in mean, the what, what, and the double Omen. what, and the triple what? Omen! Omen was with he's, us. He's a known wrestler, and he's a former, former champion. champion. But what is he doing here? What? Why? Now? What is going on? Is he even here? What the hell? Uh, he, I don't see him. Do you see uh, anybody yet? No. Again, again, this story playing mind games with me? Huh? Like it's not enough. Poor Danny. They're just they're just messing with him. Nobody comes out. But why? He's the he's mm, I'm trying not to cuss. He is the heavyweight champion. Why is he being messed with? Why? What is the purpose? The hell is going on? I don't know. Danny, you might want to pay attention, buddy. Bobby's back to his feet. Okay, just... I mean... Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> a triple German. Triple, oh, she th this, this, the triple one. Oh, my God. Wow, there's so much stuff going on. Jesus. All assortment of cheeses. 
Wow. He yeah, just, I mean, he fan. just didn't finish her. Right? There's a count. One, it's two. 25 to life again, and that's... That was his... Oh, my God. Wow. One, two, three. And your winner tonight is Uncle Bobby. The keeper of the Combrae. Uncle Bobby! Do you remember at the end of last season there was somebody who came running out as well and attacked me, a fan? What is going on here? Right, like Bobby hit And last week we had Derek's music playing. Now today, Omen's music. There is a lot of mind games going on. Not and too we many. Should, like, look into this or something because this is absolutely positively 100 million percent ridiculous exactly. i've never seen a heavyweight champion ever be disrespected so much in my entire life and it pisses me off sorry wow but i know how you feel i feel i felt every bit of that sorry. poor danny <laughs> doesn't know what's happened god so freaking annoying well, <laughs> that was our main event. We had so much fun today, especially with Flex in Your Voice premiere. I think that was awesome. Thank you, thank you. You guys that are was, beautiful. It was. That was a lot of fun. And we finally got an answer. I mean, wow. Exactly. Yeah. That's going to this, be fun this, to watch. Yeah, the stuff that the, the TLC character goes saw, just to get a match. We saw Bree beat the Morgan. We saw... Brandon beat Zach Rage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We saw Natty beat Venomous Nicole in her debut. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And now we just saw Danny versus Bobby, and Danny lost because of all the mind games. Right. So disrespectful. But it was an awesome show. We had a Wait. lot of great talent out here today. I hope you guys all enjoyed us, our show tonight. Do not forget to go to Premier's Wrestling YouTube Premier. site. I'm going to post the yeah. link here. You, you want to subscribe. You don't want to miss any shows. Yep. And you can and also go to Premier-Wrestling.com for all information, PW, as well. That is true. So we're going to wrap it up here, folks. I am Fire Ember. And I'm DJ Flex. And we will see you all next week. Keep the party going. Laters.